Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be unboxing this Vigovation dash cam, the model Marcus 4. And before I open this up, let's look at some of the highlights on the box. Let's start with some of the specs. So the CMOS sensor, 4 megapixel. The image processor is the Embryo A7. The lens is f2.0. And the viewing angle is 160 degrees. Now what really sets this apart, this apart from other dash cams is the video resolution. So it's got the 2560 by 1080 30 frames which gives you the, the ratio of 21 to 9. And it can also record at 2304 by 1296 and of course 1920 by 1080 full HD 30 frames. And if you want to record 60 frames per second you can also go with the 1280 by 720. That one supports 60 frames or 30 frames. As a 2 inch LCD screen, 3 axis G sensor. It's, the storage is micro SDXC or SDHC. They ask you to use the class 10 or higher when you're going with 64 gigs. It has the Ultra HDR, the USB 2.0 output, HD output, audio recording or mute audio, the video format, MOV at H.264, powered by cigarette adapter. Operation temperatures over here, which is zero degrees to 75 degrees Celsius, or storage temperature of negative 20 by 80 to 85 degrees Celsius. And let's look at some of the other parts on the box. Over here, are the features, basically everything I just listed before. And on this side, it shows the contents and the optional accessories listed here. Over here just says push to start. So push this. I'll get to the dash cam soon. Let's put this aside here. Let's first look at what's in the box. First, we have the window suction mount. It's a little plastic piece I just need to remove later. On one end, this has the ball mount. So it's for easy adjusting. We also have that car cigarette charger cable. This one is about four meters, or at least that's what it says on the specifications. On the other end, this is a mini USB connection port. On this end, it says input 12 to 24 volts, outputs at 5 volt, 1 amp. We have the warranty card and also the manual. And pretty thick manual goes over a lot of the highlights. Oh, one of the neat things they included is depending on your car size and your resolution, it shows how many minutes you'll be able to record for. And of course, it goes over other languages too. So I believe they cover a total of 15 languages. Now, let's get to the dash cam. Looking at this dash cam from the top, this is where the bracket socket slides into. The lens has a little film cover protecting it, so later on when I want to put it in a car, I just remove this piece. On top, it says true color megapixel lens. On the bottom, it says 1296p and 1080p HDR. On this side over here, we have the mini USB. We have the HD output, or the GPS, where the optional GPS you can plug it into, and also the microphone. These little four little holes right here. On the back, on the top, if I just take this piece off, this is where the speaker is. These four holes on each side, left and right, right above the Marcus 4 name. Then we have the 2 inch LCD screen I mentioned earlier. We have the power button. And this first, the, these menu systems serves as two buttons the power button, the volume, which also functions as the down button, the menu, which also combined with the up button record or OK and also the emergency record and return. On this side we have the micro SD slot, micro SD HC or micro SD XC. Back here in lens on the bottom just zero number on top really nothing else. Thanks for watching this unboxing of the VicoVation Marcus 4 dash cam. So to help me with my review Kingston Technology was kind enough to provide a class 10 micro SD card that's 64 gigabytes. So stay tuned I'll be publishing my review video shortly. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.